Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about translating quadratics on the coordinate plane and really looking at all these transformations going left, right, up, and down. We're also going to be using our TI-84 plus CE to help us along the way. And teachers, if you want this resource, it is completely free. All you need to do is check out my description and there is a link to this resource for free in my Teachers Pay Teachers account. So let's take a look together, ready? The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna see what it looks like to translate left. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph y equals x squared and y equals x plus two in our graphing calculator. And then we're going to sketch it on our paper here. So we are going to head over and press y equals and we are going to enter x to the second power. And then in the second line, we're going to type in open parentheses, x plus two, close parentheses squared. We're going ahead and hit graph and when we hit graph, we are going to see the two functions that we put in the calculator. If I press trace, it's pretty cool because it's going to show us the different functions. So here, my blue graph is my parent function, y equals x squared. You can see the equation at the top. And then if I do an up arrow, I can then click into the second function, which is my x plus two squared. So let's take a look at this. How did the graph go from blue to red? What was the transformation? I can see even from my vertex of the graph that the vertex went to the left two units. So when we're taking a look at a function, I'm gonna see that my parent function x plus x squared is here, but x plus two actually has a vertex here at negative two. And we're just going to do our best to make a sketch of this curve and say, okay, I see that that curve has translated two units to the left. Now, let's take a look at two additional problems, graphing y equals x squared and then x plus three squared. So we already know that our parent function has a vertex at zero, zero. And so I'm just going to give a sketch of that graph. It's not perfect, it's just a sketch. But now I wanna go into my calculator and say, okay, well, if I go back into y equals and I replace x sub two with x plus three, I can, kind of assume what's going to happen or I can think about what's going to happen. If it was x plus two, it went to the left two units. So if it's x plus three and we press graph, I can see that up, oh, look where it went. It actually went to the left three units instead. So on my sketch, I'm going to make that graph. So three units to the left, one, two, three. And that's where my parabola would be. And of course it's a little off the graph, but that's okay. Now, when I look at this function, I notice that from the vertex, the parent function would have been at the origin, but I notice that this function is actually one unit to the left. So if I wanted to write that function, I would write y equals, and then it would be x plus one. So what I'm noticing is that when it's plus two, it's two units to the left. If it's plus three, it's three units to the left. So if I need it one unit to the left, it would simply be plus one. Now we're gonna look at things being translated to the right. So we are going to graph y equals x squared, our parent function, but then we're going to graph x minus two squared, and we're going to sketch that graph. So over in our graphing calculator, I'm gonna head over to y equals. I'm going to leave my x squared, but I'm going to replace x plus three with x minus two. So plus two went to the left, minus two, let's take a look, our new function from blue to red actually did go to the right two units. So when I take a look at this and I wanna sketch my new graph of x minus two, I can see that my vertex was to the right two units. And so I can see that transformation, that shift. So now if I wanna graph these functions, I know that y equals x squared is my parent function. It has a vertex right at the origin Again, just a sketch, it's just a sketch. But now I wanna go into my graphing calculator and I wanna graph x minus one. So I'm going to go back into y equals. I'm going to replace x minus two with x minus one. Well, I already know that two, x minus two went to the right two. So x minus one, let's take a look. It only went to the right one unit. So from blue to red, I can see my transformation. I'm going to give this little sketch here. So x minus one actually means I have a vertex at positive one on the x-axis, and so it's just a shift to the right one. When I look at this function here, look where it shifted. The vertex is already at one, two, three. 
So if I want to shift three units to the right, my function would look like y equals, and then it should be x minus three squared. And of course, I can go into my calculator, I can go back into y equals, I can go down to y sub two and replace my one with a three, and press graph, and let's see it, yep, perfect, it went three units to the right. Excellent. Okay, so we looked at going left and right. Now let's take a look at translating up. So what we're gonna notice here is I still have y equals x squared, but my second function is y equals x squared. There's no parentheses, but I'm gonna put plus two at the end. So when I see that plus two at the end, and I go into my graphing calculator, I head down, I'm gonna clear out that entire second equation and type in x squared and now plus two. When I press graph, I'm going to see that from my parent function, the red graph is literally just shifted up two units. And so when I go to make a sketch of this, I know that going up two units on my y-axis is where this graph is really going to be. So now when I take a look at these two, again, we know our parent function is always at the origin. And now I can pretty much make a very good educated guess on where would x squared plus one bring us? How many units up would that go? So going into y equals, I can take a peek. I can replace my two with a one. And I think you already know what's going to happen here. That from the parent function to my red graph, good job, it went up one unit. So when I make a sketch of this, I can go up one, and that's what my new graph would look like. So now when I look at the graph over here on the right, I notice it's up two units. Hey, that's exactly what our original function had looked like that we had graphed. And so I know this would be y equals x squared plus two. The last transformation we're gonna be looking at is going down. So instead of plus two at the end, we're going to replace that with a minus two. So I'm gonna go back to y equals. I'm going to replace my plus one with a minus two. Can you guess what's going to happen here? Let's take a look. From my parent function, the new graph has shifted down two units. So after it going down two units, I'm going to give that little sketch down two units, so negative two on the y-axis. And for our last problem here, we're going to take a look. We have our parent function. Again, parent function has our vertex at the origin, but I can see in my new graph, I want to replace my minus two with a minus three. I think we know, again, what's going to happen here. I'm hoping you're seeing these transformations pretty easily as we're going through each one. And so if it's minus three and I press graph, let's take a look. And yep, it is three units at the bottom. Okay, it shifted three units down. And so this is what my new graph would look like. Last one, let's take a look. I notice that this graph is shifted down one unit. It's down at negative one. So my graph, my function is simply y equals x squared minus one. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.